So, all right, we've got uh, Allies of the Coalition. I want to put, of course, my shout outs for Native Daily Network and what they are doing to help cover the LNG going on in Tacoma. And they've got a YouTube page up. There's link in the description. Um, also, Red Berets for Healthcare or Medicare, excuse me, they are growing crazy like right now and doing some amazing things making those see those red berets right there they're making those and they're getting a whole coalition of knitters to be able to do this in support of whole washington for washington state to get their own single payer universal health care and that's exactly what we need in this state um, some of the other type of uh coalitions we've got here in washington our revolution king county of course uh, we've got whole Washington again, de-escalate, fair vote, all those good things up there. Uh, represent us is also there. We had that interview with with Nicole earlier. That was great interview. Um, some of the other events that we've got coming up around the Sound. This is a really big one. Uh, the Town Hall for Progressive Democracy, Housing and Homelessness. That is through us with the Bernie Kratz and also with Uphill and Our Revolution King County. And it is supposed to be a really good event, information gathering, networking. We've got to get this done. We've got to get these, these people some help. I mean, homelessness is one of the biggest issues in the sound right now. I mean, you can't even go down Seattle without noticing it. You can't even go anywhere around here without noticing it. There has to be awareness spread about this. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts around it. We need to help these people. It, it's simple as that. I mean, how would you feel living out under a bridge as a, with a tent as your only form of shelter? It's, it's brutal. I've done it. It's brutal. So we need to help these people. Uh, moving on to our next event we've got. We've got uh, Dorothy with... Her Justice Democrats and brand new Congress, and they're going to be having a town hall. I encourage you all to check her out. She is amazing. Amazing. I love watching her. I love participating in what she does. Um, she's she's a very good inspiration for this this place. And please check her out. Okay, coming up, we've got the 2018 Women Rally. These are both on January 20th. I can't even see that other part. The the Native American ones. I oh, to... it's uh, the missing and murdered indigenous yeah, woman at uh, Washington March. Mm -hmm. I added that one on there last minute. Um, that one just came up, and it is supposed to be a really good uh, movement that we've got going on around here in the Sound with the Native Americans. And a very I, important I, issue that gets uh, overlooked way, way so. too much. So yes. if you can go, please go represent um, and support this cause. All right. And then we've got Democracy Lobby Day. Washington Women Can Lobby Day. We've got lobby days coming up here in January. Uh, one's on the 24th, other on the 22nd. If you can, try and get down there. At least spread the word. We need to get these things shared. We need to let people know that they're going on. Because, like, I mean, there's even some more happening. Native American Lobby Day. Pierce County Lobby Day. If there's an issue that you are concerned about, find out how to get involved. I mean, really, that's not very hard there's lots of help that needs to be had people are are totally willing to facilitate your needs if you find something you're passionate about we encourage you please come check us out come come and get involved we want your help hey i we got a question a place for you yeah what's up so is this where if it's a lobby day does this mean i can come down with some money and bribe my politicians to do what i want <laughs> <laughs> Explain what lobby day is for us. It sounds sound like the the, 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 the the lobby wow, you know. Is that what this is? <laughs> so our lobby is the power of the people and the power of our voice. And we're going to lobby Congress with thousands and thousands of people in front of the Capitol steps. That's how the people lobby. That's what we're going to do. And that's what needs to be spread. Pay, lobbying with money, that's easy. This is what real lobbying is all about right here. That's right. true. That's absolutely true. Uh, we've done some lobbying. Uh, we actually, with Represent Us, we actually went through a lobbying training. And, and just thinking um, when they wanted to put us through that, we're like, lobby, bad, no. 
But no, not all lobbying is bad. It just is your opportunity to go and talk with your representatives and let them know uh, what you as a people. It's uncorrupted person, lobbying. Oh, right. Right. It's corrupted lobbying is here. Take my cash and you speak on my behalf. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. We support our candidates and we want to lobby our candidates to speak on our behalf. That's what we're going to do. Nice. Thank you for the clarification. Yep. Sure seems easier with the cash. The, the cash. Isn't, the cash. That, isn't that the, the whole point of it, right? Because exactly. I believe that these corporations are lazy. They don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to go out and walk on the beat and do what they need to do to get their corporations to actually be good corporations and be stewards of the environment. No, they just want to try and be easy and cut out the middleman and just give some money to their representatives and say, here, be a talking head for us. That's what it seems like to me. So Absolutely. if you uh, oh, have any questions, yeah. So Brian, find us on oh. on Facebook, on Twitter, on any of the other platforms, we've got MeWe. We've got all sorts of other ways that you can be able to reach out to us. Uh, check us out, man. We've got lots going on. We need lots of help, and we can put you where you're needed, where you want to be is where what it's more geared towards. So, so Brian. Yep. Schultze 100 says the native daily network, all Washington natives. Um, I know that they are Washington local. I don't know uh, if they're exclusive to Washington in their news reporting. And I know they went to Standing Rock. So Do there's you know? um, there's Darren, who I've been talking to, and they're affiliated with uh, the Sioux tribe. And Standing Rock is where it started, is where it began from. And it's a branch, I believe, in Washington State, and they try and do as much local coverage as humanly possible. They also need help. So if you can find them on the web, they have a whole donation link set up. They have an action network set up, I believe. So all of that information is going to be in the description below. Excellent. 